Hey there, everybody. Welcome to a new NCIS video, and we, we come bearing good news today. We know the season 18 premiere date is Tuesday, November 17th. Not that much longer. It's like just a little bit more than a month. We've got a date, guys. We've got a date. We've got details. There, yep. There's a lot of stuff to discuss here because yep. they're doing something kind of strange when it comes to this upcoming season. It's yep. not something I personally would have predicted them doing. Yep. But we're going to get into sharing some of what we know about this first episode entitled Sturgeon Season. <laughs> Make of that what you will. Before we do, though, if you guys enjoy this video, subscribe, give us a like, hit that notification bell, and if you want to support us more, check those links to the store as well as our Patreon. Okay, so Sturgeon Season. So we all know what that means. So yeah. back last season, we had that, that little bit of time where Gibbs went sturgeon fishing and came back with like a black eye and everything that was going on you know all that whispering that was going on with sloan so we know that he wasn't actually fishing for anything that had to do with fish that fish so, punched him in the eye oh yeah so well sturgeons are big so yeah, yeah there there is going to be more of that in the premiere I'm excited for, I think, what this episode is going to bring in the sense that finally we might get to know what exactly was going down there. Because I know you and I, we thought for a long time that, okay, is this going to be when Gibbs was off doing his secret mission with Fornell? Yeah, and that is what we thought that it was. And it does seem, at least from the synopsis, that Gibbs and Fornell are going to be attempting to sort of track down this, like, mega drug dealer that was, you know, getting involved with Emily. The the part of this that's interesting to me is that this is the premiere of the season, like, as we've obviously said already. And they're really devoting a lot of time early on this season to addressing something that was introduced back at the end of season 16. So it's probably going to take a little bit of a refresher from some people because I don't <laughs> think everybody is going to be coming into this season super refreshed on what happened, you know, almost a year and a half ago. Yeah, and so the producers did talk to TV Line sort of about this episode. And one of the things that they said is before the credits, there's going to be like this big, intense opening that I think, this is just my theory, yeah. is going to kind of refresh everybody or sort of let, let everybody in on what's going on so that, because it looks like we might be sort of jumping back in time of what is what was going on during Sturgeon season. <laughs> I, okay, this is the thing with sort of where my brain is getting kind of all twisted up with all of this, because why now? Like, if all of this happened back last year when Gibbs had his fishing trip, like, why are we getting introduced to this now? Why not three or four episodes down the road? Like, there's a lot of things that they could be addressing right now. What was, made the, what was making the writers think, okay, this is when we need to go into Gibbs' past at this particular point? Yeah, and I mean... I feel like they were kind of had this in mind at the end of last season. But of course, everything got shut down. We didn't get a full season. So they're just picking back up again. I do think there is a certain degree of truth to that. Because if we sort of remember, you know, when we spoke with the producers at the end of last season. Yep. One of the things that they mentioned to us was basically that everything was sort of in stasis in terms of the sets that they had, the plans that they had. Maybe in CIS, you know, a lot of other shows, I think, kind of scrapped some of their plans that they had sort of mapped out. And they're going with something totally new to account for the real world right now. But maybe in CIS is just being like, you know what? We're just going to give you guys at least most of the stories we had already sort of conjured up. And then maybe we'll get into some other material later. Yeah, because we had a whole season with, like, no for now. <laughs> it was weird. It was really weird. Because I expect him now, like, you know, a couple times a season. This was a pretty big storyline. And when that whole sturgeon fishing trip came up, I was like, okay. So this is probably what's going to be happening. We'll pick back up with that maybe at the end of the season. And then, yeah, the end of the season didn't happen. So that's where we're going to be with them. And it sounds like... That means that kind of Gibbs is going to be off doing his own thing while the rest of the team is still going to be at the offices doing their thing. And according to the synopsis for this episode, we have some hijinks going on at NCIS where there is a missing cadaver from the autopsy room. Now, you are a licensed funeral director. 
I am not, I do not have experience with cadavers, so I'm just going to turn this over to you. How in the world does this happen? I really don't <laughs> know. Unless Jimmy ended up with that new assistant that moved the body. I mean, nobody's breaking into the NCIS lab and stealing bodies. It's maybe possible that the cadaver got mislabeled, maybe, and moved somewhere else because of that, or somebody came in thinking they were picking up someone else and they picked up the wrong person. I think it's probably just gonna be something like that. I don't think this is like gonna get really dark here where someone is breaking in and stealing dead bodies or something. Let me get my fan fiction pen right, out here. here I go. know what we got, I, this is what's gonna happen. We're close to Halloween, right? Yeah. I really want to say zombies, but I'm not going to say zombies because that's probably a bridge too far. But instead, <laughs> what's going to happen is they're not really going to be dead. And then at one point, they're just going to like get up, be like, how did I get here? And they're just going to walk out of the autopsy room. And that is going to be what happens. It's the case of the undead coming to NCIS. That is some fan fiction right there. You are welcome, Stephen <laughs> Frank, for that wonderful little tidbit. But So here's the other thing, is that we know that Maria Bello is leaving the show. But, yes. <laughs> Yes, it's bad. <laughs> yes. However, she is listed to be in this episode. So if we've got Gibbs and Fresnel off taking care of this drug dealer thing, is she going to be back at the office dealing with this missing cadaver? Or is she actually going to be off with Gibbs? It's, it's a good question because there's a lot of different things to wonder about here. Like if Gibbs and Sloan went through something together during all of this saga... Like, why did they not bring it up to the rest of the team and all the time that passed? Is there something that they decided to keep secret, whether it is important to a case, whether it's romantic? Like, no matter what it is, you know, why, why have we not heard about this information from them before? Yeah, and I'm sort of divided on this because I, of course, love Gibbs and Sloan together. I love their chemistry. I love seeing them on screen. If we only have so many episodes left with Maria, I do not want them to be separated. But at the same time, I love having Fresnel and Gibbs together and I love their friendship and the back and forth between the two of them. And that dynamic will change a little bit if Sloan is also there. Could change for the better because it's possible that Fresnel will start to call some of that out. Maybe we'll get the best of both worlds. Maybe we'll get a little bit of Gibbs and Fresnel. Maybe Sloan comes in. He has a few scenes with her. Like, I I think they can balance all of this out. My, my only major concern with a lot of this is because it's all said in the past, like... There's no severe stakes here other than Gibbs getting, you know, a black eye. Like, How did that happen? Well, right? it's like, intriguing. It's intriguing. But it's also like, you know, with the team, like obviously nothing so earth shattering happened with the team that it completely changed their dynamic in any of the episodes that are coming up. This is NCIS, guys. So, I mean, nothing crazy is going to happen with the team while Gibbs is away. They're not going to have something like that. I mean... I'm surprised and happy that they are actually bringing in something that is a story that's a little more serialized because it looks like this arc with Gibbs is going to last for a couple of episodes and we don't usually get a lot of that. We had a little bit of that with Ziva last season, but we don't get a lot of that. So when that stuff comes in, I get really excited. I'm also just kind of curious how the 400th episode is going to be mm -hmm. kind of folded into this because yeah. this episode, the premiere is 399. Yep. If they air them in order, then the 400th episode would obviously be next. Like, is it connected to this somehow? I know we're going back in time again to when Gibbs and Ducky met in that episode. So I, I, that's another sort of piece. Like, there's a lot of puzzle pieces right now, and I've got them, like, thrown all over the board, and they're not all fitting together, and my brain is hurting because of it. Yeah. I just think we're going to have a lot to look forward to, guys. If you like the procedural stuff, there's going to be that happening with the team. If you do like the stuff that's a little shorter arcs, we're going to have that over here with Gibbs. I think there's going to be something for everyone in these first few episodes. I'm just thrilled that we finally have an actual premiere date because it was starting to feel like so many other shows were coming out where it's like, oh, this is premiered. There's so much stuff premiering even this week with like Bachelor yeah. tonight and you know the amazing race tomorrow and this is us in like two weeks so it's just i was like where where is it but finally it's here 
I'm going to get on my tinfoil hat for a second here right, at the end of all this. Because I, one of the things I've been thinking about is, okay, well, why, why is the show going back to the past now? This is what I'm sort of thinking, yep. is that... There's a lot of dark stuff going on in the world right now. I think we're all very much aware of this. Yep. And, you know, in CIS New Orleans, they are tackling the health crisis head on pretty early on in that season. So we know that it is canon to the NCIS world in some way. Yep. It's hard to say whether or not NCIS proper is going to take a hard look at it. But I'm guessing that they probably understand that they are valued as an escape for a lot of people. And I'm guessing as well that they were probably like, okay, let's give people a little bit of that, a chance to sort of get away and mm -hmm. reminisce about, you know, it's only a year ago, really, when Gibbs was doing all this, but it feels like it was like five years ago at this point. <gasps> right. <laughs> and I, I think that's what they're thinking. I think they're probably like, let's just give people a chance to just relax and get away from everything. We have a full season, and I'm sure eventually we will get back to that timeline, but that's where I think that decision landed, but I, I, I haven't spoken to Steve or Frank yet. I don't know for sure. Yeah. But we'll, we'll get your take on all of this, because first of all, are you just happy that NCIS is back? Yes. What do you want to see in Sturgeon? Do you actually want to see Gibbs fighting a Sturgeon and the fish punches him in the face and gives him the black eye? Yes. Let us know. Okay, you really want to see. Let us know in the comments. And if you do like this video, subscribe, give us a like. Support us further, check those links to the store on our Patreon, and we'll see you here next time.